Eight point flux. Hey, did any of you just hear a voice? I wonder where you're taking me, matey. I've heard that voice before. Patty? What? Is she a friend of yours? We've got to help her. Yeah, yeah, just leave it to me. He hit it. Nice catch. <laughs> that was unexpected. Yeah. So you're still looking for Ifrid's treasure? Oh my gosh. Ifrid? I Yeah, right. Treasure in a place like this? Who gave you that load of crap? The map making guild. World seller tells me all sorts of things. After all, those lads travel all around the world. Is that why you went to Rago's mansion too? But there wasn't anything there, right? No, but a story that's a hundred percent believable is all the more fishy. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Except that you're a hundred percent fishy. Hey, no need to be mean now. Anyway, I've got to get back to my treasure hunting. If you keep wandering around all alone, you'll get attacked by monsters again. That monster didn't attack me. We were playing together. I don't think the monster saw it that way. Patty, behind you. I guess that means she'll be fine on her own. He's gangster. Will you come with me? I appreciate the offer, but treasure hunting will have to wait until another day. That's an awful shame, but nonetheless, I must go. Farewell! She's gone! Is she really gonna be okay? She said she'll be fine, so yeah, why not? I hope you're right. Still, it's not like worrying's gonna change anything. Come on, let's get going. Hey, there's my safe point. Probably save first before I do, do shenanigans. Don't like help me. All right, who's next? As your It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. A hundred years before you can beat me. Hey, can we get out of this forest sometime soon? Is something the matter? You look nervous, Carol. N no way! W what are you talking about? Whoa, check out this weird bug. I've never seen one this gross before. And yet, you don't mind picking it up like that? Hey, Carol, any idea what kind of bug this is? Keep that thing away from me! What's the matter? Huh? It's just that poor bug being manhandled like that. Let it go! It wants to be free! Really? Really? Hmm. Hmm. Up here, get a presumed treasure chest. Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Next week. These are the threads. Alright, you learn stun magic. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. Let's eliminate them. Wow, this is like the worst party in a Don't get in our way. Better not pretty quickly though.
Dang it. <laughs> they got us from behind. Cowards. Get up, you sucker fool! So don't pick any more fights. Gosh. I had it. Man, I wish we could get out of here already. Don't get so flustered, boy. We'll get out of here nice and easy, you'll see. Not everyone leads a carefree life of unicorns and rainbows like you, you know. Life is a lot like this forest. Winding paths, intertwining. Ah, this forest is really relaxing. Come on, let's leave our philosopher behind and get a move on. Listen to what I've got to say. So you mean we're lost in the forest of life? Oh, so you get what I'm saying. Before we find our way out of the forest of life, we need to find our way out of this one. I'll lead. I have found direction in this life more times than... Hey, wait! I'm not done yet! Oh... Raven. Or so. Got us from behind. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of back attacks in this place. It's been tough times. This? No, this is. This is not too bad. I'm gonna save again. I say they have us from behind. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, my Why do catchphrase characters just they're just so silly? I got a little Did I save. I was gonna be salty if that was another back attack. Oh man. Alright, alright. As you're rich! Drag it over! Next week. Next week? In a lot of gold from fights. Uh, quite nice. Uh oh, this is bad news. Okay, weak against that. I get the negative one. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Oh my goodness. Alexei in this game. Does he was he played by the same guy who was um Man, uh Eus Eustace? Eustace's brother in Trails of Cold Steel? Is that the same voice actor? 
Is his name Eustace? I don't think it's Eustace. It's uh. I don't remember the name. It's whatever. Maybe it is Eustace. I just keep getting. I don't know. Let's get this over with. Or no, it's Eusis. Gay U S I S. That's what it is. Eusis now, but what's his brother's name? That I don't remember. They 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 kind of have a similar voice. I don't know if it's the same guy. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a hey, long Mind bottle, probably what uh, Raven used earlier. Fricassol. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. What level are these guys? Nineteen. They are kind of weak. This way, of course, back attack. Oh man, all right, all right. I guess I'm uh, poisoned, aren't I? Keep moving. Ooh, there's a healing save point. This looks easy. Let me add up. I totally unpoisoned myself for no reason. Make sure equipment is good to go here. I don't really like rise attack. I want to check something quick. Can I unequip it? Even oh, I cannot. Ninety-two. So the battle sword is the next best thing for me. Working on that EXP share. Got all those. Maybe. Good. Have any else weapon? Got the best of the best. Strength. Never ever use that. Item thrower is pretty useful. Uh, 
I guess I'll never go around to grabbing it. I'm see. A spirit healer. I'd like to use that. Bit of rise attack. Get rid of. End, I guess. Okay. Definitely want that. Not very useful. I think this is not very useful. Grab auto mass, and we just need two more. Cross counter, give you spirits. And in you, you've got six. Party on your weapon, do that. What weapon are you using? Curiosity, hammer. I want to give you. Raynock. Two points. That. Save one more time. Uh, I should probably be running um, Rita. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. This is the same phenomenon we saw at Heliord. The air is weaker than it was there, but there's no mistaking it. That monster looks just like the ones that attacked Dongrast. Here it comes. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Didn't get a good look at it. Gigalarva. This must be why the town kept getting attacked by monsters. Is there any way to quiet the monsters? We have to get... Rola. before they get us. We might not make it back alive. Stay sharp. We'll lose our lives oh. if we aren't careful. Full power! I'm on like uh, auto or something like that. There we go. I get recovered. Why do I keep jumping? Oh, man, we've got a lot of work to do. Poison? Okay. Cover. Ew. Whatever this jumping is, is like... There we go. Semi-auto. Okay. 
Okay. For me, you lottery gel seems dangerous. Okay. That's not good. Every time. Fatal strike. Zors. You, I thought I'll need. Oh my gosh, see like if if you knock him down I guess it won't What's his HP at? Oh my gosh, I got such a long way to go. Healing? That's probably why. That's probably why I've been having such a hard time. Alright. Nice. 
I won't be able to do that. So, repeat, you're going to have to heal yourself. Please do not heal. Holy power, come to me! Repeat. Running out of options here. Oh, you can't relax yet. Oh, that was a rough one. Um, I'm guessing the secret to that fight is um, don't let him heal, interrupt his healing. I feel that spicy. Running all through my body. I say, holy power! Ow, <laughs> the trees, the monsters. It's got to be the air that's causing this. There's more of them! Oh my gosh. Ah, so this is the end, huh? Farewell, all my dear fans the world over. I'll make sure your gravestone reads, Here lies the world's biggest sap. You're supposed to say stuff like, We can make it through this together. Oh wow, look who it is. The flame death destruction of all humankind, dude. Who is he? Duke. Wait! Hmm? What is that sword? Let me see. How did you do that back there? You, like, slice through the air, but... But that's impossible! What good would that knowledge do you? Well, I mean, with something like that, we might be able to stop the Blastia from going berserk. We saw that happen to a Blastia. The air was out of control. We couldn't do anything. This was only a distortion. It is a natural occurrence. Distortion? Um, thank you so much for helping us. Do not go near the Air Krenne. Huh? What do you mean, Air Krenne? This place? Air Krenne are the springs from which all air in the world comes. Springs of air? Who are you? This isn't the kind of place you just go for a walk. <laughs> we would have been dead without your help, though. Thanks. That power... Could it be the Rizomata formula? I can't tell anything from checking things out here. I have to see some others. Do not go. The air crane. Hey, didn't that guy earlier say these were all over the world? Yeah, he did. We won't know anything solid until we find them and study them. So, I guess we're finished looking into things here? Yeah, let's get back to Dongress to meet with the Dawn. Why did we come here again? What is the status effect? I'm guessing it um uh, gets rid of my GP, yeah. Called contamination is uh, very obnoxious. Do not go near the air crane. Man, see now I gotta make the the trip all the way out of this place my goodness all the way out of here 
took me forever just to get over here. I guess there's no enemies along the path, unless they respawn, but haven't seen any evidence of respawning, so... Guess I'm good? Oh. Well, on this side, they're gonna they're gonna respawn. Anomalous air conditions result in Blastia going out of control, which in turn leads to monsters turning vicious. If this is related to the distortion he was talking about, then it might not be only this forest that's affected. You sure mumble to yourself a lot, don't you? Uh, what? Another monster attack? Carol, keep your head down. It's it's them. Dawn! You all do something? Do something? What do you mean? Those savage monsters turned docile as pups and ran off. What did you do? Yuri. It must be because we stopped the flow of the air. The monsters turned tame because we stopped the runaway air! Runaway air? Hmm. Hey, old man. Do you know something? Well, my old friend Bellius used to say something about it. So it's true that Don and Bellius are friends. Who is Bellius? The Duce, who rules the Colosseum of Nordopolica. Nordopolica? And what's with that runaway air? It was really amazing. More and more really strong monsters kept on coming, but we... Boy, those are the sorts of things you keep to yourself. What? You don't do deeds like that so other people will notice. You do them so that you can protect your town and your friends. I'm... I'm sorry. Excuse me, could I see him for a moment? What? Oh, you can use healing arts. Thank you. I feel like we're going to have this conversation a lot. Where Estelle is like, oh my goodness, I can heal somebody. And then she goes to heal them and it's, oh, you can use healing arts. Happened like three or four times already. Mm, ain't that Raven over there? Quit hiding, you. <laughs> Our man ain't giving you trouble, is he? What do you mean, trouble? The reason the monsters got tame was our doing. Mine especially. Huh? Raven's a member of Altosk? Somehow, that seems to be the case. Ouch, Gramps. Cut that out. Shut up, you! Don Whitehorse. What is it? I know we've only just met, but I have something I need to talk to you about. Quite the strapping young lad, aren't you? What's your name? I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Yuri, eh? So you must be the leader here. Uh, excuse me, Gramps. Anybody home? Uh, there ain't been too many lively youngsters around here lately. So I've grown bored. I'll listen to you. But in exchange, you gotta indulge me for a bit. Jeez, what a time for that old geezer's bad habit. What are you talking about? Whenever he finds someone who shows a little backbone, he just has to test them. Test? Test what? Their strength, of course. Exactly. Now, come and indulge an old man in his innocent hobby. No, 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 no. You can count me out. Hey, he just took off. All right. An opportunity to face the head of a guild isn't the kind of thing that comes along every day. <laughs> That's the spirit. Show me what you got. I am going to lose so badly. If you're so old, then we. <laughs> ah, I'm so screwed. Retire and drink tea in peace. Sorry, but that's really not my stuff. I did one damage! Pick that sucker!
How long should I waste time doing this? You think it's possible to kill him? If I spent like three days on this. Is HP actually going down? It is! I've dealt 12 damage to everybody. 12 damage. I have to Never mind. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Well, that's enough. After all, if we keep this up, this is going to turn into a real battle. That was the most fun I've had in a long time. All right, I'll hear you out now. Don, sorry to interrupt. Oh, my goodness. Can a brother just get a couple questions in? Uh, I see. All right, you dogs. Time to head out. Sorry about this, but something's come up. We gotta return to Dongrest. If you come by the Union, you'll have my ear first chance I get. Hope that's okay. If I have your word, that's fine by me. Hmm. You're not nervous at all to talk to me. You all would make a good addition to our guild. I was giving him everything I got in that fight, though. The most fun I ever had was being invincible against someone I could three-hit. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Hmm, a guild, huh? We're gonna make one, right? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about joining his guild. I mean, he's the most powerful. He can train me to be as good as him. I mean, he was level 60, only level like 20-something. You know, like, he can get me to level 60 pretty quick, I'm guessing. So, I might have to just kick you to the curb, little kid. We'll see. Or that. So, what do you think? You all finally get a taste of how awesome I am? I sure didn't notice you being too awesome out there. <laughs> Always so quick to criticize. All right, I'd like to go back to Dongress to meet with Adon and keep looking for Barbos. Rita, once Yuri's done with his business, we should go back to report. Rita? Oh, what was that? Once Yuri's done, we should go back to report to Alexei. Is something the matter? N no, it's nothing. Come on, let's go back. And you know, for some reason we just can't go back with the Don. Just who was that strange person with the sword anyway? Do you think he came to Cave Mock all by himself? There are so many monsters around. Judging by the way he was standing, He's pretty confident in his own abilities. He seemed calm or even like meditative. Well, whatever, he was a strange guy. Yeah, I have no idea what was up with him at all. I guess it's not canon that we met him in that one bridge town before the big tree town. Because we totally met him. I, I fought this monster yet. I also need some tortoise shells. Oh man, I'm, I'm already dead. <laughs> oh man. I didn't think about my my HP. Small bird feather. Where do I get big bird feathers? Oh, don't get careless. I need those. Am I only taking one damage? Because that's amazing. This? No, this isn't 
scary. Your legs are shaking. All right, do I actually even have any of those? Um, yeah, Tortoise, the Fallen City, Care, Bakram. Bakram. Bird feather, small. Need a medium. Oh, here we go. Axe beak. Boy Woods. Well, that's not this place. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. Okay, I guess you just can't. When they're knocked Victory. over, you just hey tortoise shell. You just can't fatal strike them. It was a uh, le obnoxious. Dave, time is it? Five o'clock. At five hours thirty six minutes into the stream. Guess I could stop at any time now. I feel like stopping right now though. What are we doing here? Doing all. Uh, let me see if I can actually utilize these tortoise shells now. Got two of them. Uh, we need a um, mystic cloth now. A bronze from the Den of Guilds. Let. A bronze. Those are those ninja guys. I'm not going to be able to make that anytime soon. Disappointing. Those, though. Those. I already have one of those, but I didn't equip it for some reason. Oh, because he was still learning the, uh, the round shield. Not have a Sirugi, number two. Fires one of my tortoise shells, though. Shell large claws BA force. Spirits is pretty good. Belt plus one. I can afford it. Also afford. Do I care about Homeboy Slice, though? I kind of don't. We Raven. I need a hoof. Oh, that uses my tortoise shells. So, we'll go with this. Selector. Um, I don't know if I want to get rid of my insect horns for that. I did get the special flag. Oh, and that's what I needed the bird feather medium for. I don't need insect horns for that. Guess I'll get that. Ah. Whip some stuff. That. More 
working on EXP there for you. Oh, I just never equipped it. Life is hard. Put that on you. Sun Magic Taunt 2. The bird outside is being very difficult. The uh, DPS decrease, so I want to do that one first. Okay, let's go ahead and save. I need that magical cloth so I can get Homeboy Slice's upgraded bag so he can get happiness. He needs the happiness. Don Whitehorse. <laughs> I can see how a man like that could rise to the top of the Union. He's pretty impressive. I'm just relieved he's the sort of person who's willing to listen. I didn't think he'd give us a chance, considering that he's never met us before. That's what makes the Don so great! I told you, right? Man, he's so cool! Do you run his fan club or something? He's so awesome. Like power, like I say. Are you saluting? Got your weapon behind your back. And you ain't stopping me from going in here. I got a standing invitation. Punk. So you've come back, have you? Yuri. What? You two know each other? Yes. We're old friends. You don't say. I see you know Yuri as well. We crossed paths during the assault on the city. Now then, what business did you have? Uh... We came to ask you about a man named Barbos of the Blood Alliance. It looks like he's the one behind the recent string of stolen Blastia cores. I see. So Barbos is tied up in your problem as well. You have a problem with him too? We have come to ask that the Union relinquish all ties with the Blood Alliance. Other guilds have begun to follow Barbos' example, abusing Blastia in other areas and disrupting the order of society. If we can count on your assistance, I feel that together we should move to put an end to the Blood Alliance. Barbos? <laughs> He's been testing the limits of my patience lately. Looks like it's time to remind that brute how a proper guild behaves. A clash between the guilds and the Empire was avoided the other day, largely due to your intervention. However, if Barbos is left unattended, the relations between our two states may yet again be torn apart. And that's not going to be fun for anybody. The time for stopping Barbos is now. Since we'll be cooperating with you, I assume we'll be on equal standing with the Empire in this. Yes, sir. <laughs> If that's the case, a united front with the Empire might not be such a bad idea. Then... Yeah. We'll deal with this together. Hey, send a message to Bellius. <laughs> Tell Bellius that Nordopolic is gonna help us. Man, this is serious. I have brought a letter from His Highness, Yoder. A secret note from the Imperial Candidate, huh? Read it aloud. If Don Whitehorse is taken out of the picture, we are willing to overlook the Union's responsibility in the Barbos affair. What? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What? What is this? Looks like you and the young Master see things a bit differently. There must be some mistake. Master Yoder would never say such a thing. Show our guest here to his own private suite. Don Whitehorse, please listen to me. This is some sort of trap. Black twist. Flynn! Why would you... Hang on. If we screw up, it'll only make things worse for Flynn. <gasps> All out war with the Empire. 
We'll take everything we've got and march on the Imperial capital. Try and make a fool out of me, and I'll tear these little messengers limb from limb. Uh, hello? You're forgetting about me? Th this is bad! Then it looks like he's forgotten all about talking with us. I don't think that Don's in much of a talking mood right now. I have to return to the Empire and find out what's really going on. I said hang on. We should sit still for now and see what happens. I... I suppose you're right. Raven left the party. I cannot believe that Yoder would give a letter like that to Flynn. There must be some mistake. We've met His Highness too, and he certainly didn't seem like that kind of person. But you heard the letter! It's said to take Don Whitehorse out of the picture! So maybe it was sent by someone who wants to throw a wrench into what Yoder and Flynn are doing. But that's nothing more than a hunch right now. Yeah, you're right. The only thing we know for sure right now is that Flynn is in trouble. He's in a lot more than trouble. Do dead. The dungeon is up ahead. There's a knight held captive there now. One is allowed to enter beyond this point. Where I go now? Who needs to get busted up? Empire is supposedly going to attack. We need to tighten up security. At least nobody suspects us. Huh, that's strange. What's the matter, Yuri? It looks like I dropped my wallet somewhere. At a time like this? Maybe it fell out of my pocket at the Don's place. I'm gonna go look. You wait here. Uh, okay. Don't take too long. Are you guys really falling for that? Alrighty. Now to go see how Flynn's holding up. Who falls for that? Y'all a bunch of naive suckers. Need to watch more anime and more TV shows. I know there's no TV in this world, but I don't know. Dream some more or something. Play some Dungeons and Dragons. How about that? Nobody ever falls for that. Yuri. I thought I was being quiet, but I guess you heard me. So, you've come to have a laugh at me in this sorry state? O among other things. Yeah, I wanted to see what kind of expression being locked up put on your face. It doesn't hurt to be forced to view things from behind bars every now and then. What the hell you think you were doing, coming here with a letter like that? That was the Red Eyes doing. They attacked after you left. You don't screw up like that. Was it one of your people? Even if it was, the responsibility is mine. I see. If the Red Eyes are involved, then Rago's gotta be behind it all. Bat Pat fell for it? <laughs> but how do you know? At the harbor, we saw Rago giving orders to one of their assassins. I hadn't heard about that. Do you know what they're trying to do? Most likely, they want to force a clash between the guilds and the knights. That'd be bad. You think another one of those false letters went to the knights? Yes, to put them in a fighting mood. If you know that much, then get out there and get the real letters back. I was wondering how long it'd take you to get rid of that damn lock. <laughs> You've got to stay here. What, and be your scapegoat? You're just itching to get rid of me, aren't you? Yuri, if I don't make it back... You'll have to die in my place. Uh... How about you stay in jail and we'll go find the letters? Yeah. No. No. That's some bull crap. My boy Slice is going to go out on some adventure and I got to sit here in jail and wait for him? Taking your friend's place in a jail cell? You lost your mind, son. This coming from an old man who gets rid of his own guards on purpose. 
Hmm. I had a special favor to ask that rookie knight. You mean Flynn? The rats that plan these sort of stunts usually like to enjoy their handiwork from somewhere nearby. If you knew the letter was fake, why'd you fire everyone up like that? Yeah, if I didn't make a good show of things, whoever's behind all this wouldn't bother to come watch. Besides, we've got a lot of hotheads around here who'd never let me hear the end of it if I didn't raise hell. So that's where it stands. Of course, if our friend the Knight doesn't show up again, your life is mine. I know. Tell me one thing, though. What made you want to start a guild in the first place? I realized I couldn't protect the things that were important to me playing by the Empire's rules. There have to be some things that were easier to protect when you were on the other side, though. Even in the lower quarter where I'm from, we still had the barrier to protect us. Sure. But were you happy with just putting up with all the things you didn't like? Well, I... So if the rules the Empire sets don't suit you, you got two choices. You can do like your friend is, and put everything you've got to change in the system. Or... You could turn your back on the Empire and live by the rules you set for yourself. That's pretty clear-cut. Yep. I think you're gonna have to take responsibility for letting my prisoner go. You want me to do something besides rotting in this cell? The sap who's been putting together this little show has got to be somewhere in this city. Oh, I've been planning on asking your armor-wearing friend to hunt him down for me, but... So what? You want me to find them? Your job is to pay this debt back to me. How you go about it is up to you. That young lady you brought with you is running all over the place helping with the injured folks. You're not the type to be the only one sitting around twiddling its thumbs, right? Estelle. Huh. That sounds like her. Hey, bub. Watch this. I'm free, sucker. I'm free. And you ain't, sucker. I'm out. I'm out. The Don's a smart guy. He's a smart guy. I like how none of these people saw Flynn leave. Or, you know, this guy right outside. Like, oh no, man. We good. I didn't see nobody. Out of the way! The dawn is passing through! Is he really planning on going to war just to lure those rats out of hiding? We'll teach those Imperial bastards to look down on us! Oh, Yuri! Have you finished healing the injured yet? How did you know that? The Don told me. This is from him, his way of saying thanks. But Yuri, things have gotten really bad. Yeah, I noticed. No, that's not what I mean. What else? I saw them. You saw who? The Blood Alliance. Barbos wasn't with them, but Rita and Repeat are shadowing them right now. Just what the Don wanted. Let's catch up with Rita. Yeah. Hooray! Where were you talking with the Don, Yuri? You were gone for a long time. We had a nice little chat through some thick iron bars. Yuri, did you get Flynn out of prison by trading places with him? No, it's nothing like that. Flynn would have been released even if I hadn't gotten involved. What do you mean? The Don planned all along to capture Flynn and use him to find out who's behind this whole mess. So both the Don and Flynn know that there's someone else manipulating things? Yeah. Why do I keep letting myself get caught up in this stuff? Now the Don's making me do his dirty work. What a pain. I don't know. What a pain. Rita. Yes. Let's go inside. But if Barbos is in there. Then we can't just sit around and watch either, huh? What should we do? Let me give you a tip. Oh, it's you again. Hey, hey, is it okay you being here? No, it ain't okay. But the Don asked me to make sure you youngsters don't screw things up. Why don't you guys come with me to a tavern and hear what I got to say? We don't have the time to... Oh, come on. You sound like you think I'm gonna trick you. 
Well, you have tricked us before. I can handle getting tricked a couple times, but there are limits to my patience, old man. What's with the grim face? I get it. All right. Come now, kids. Show me those pearly whites. All right, this way. Hooray. I hope I can save for oh, she's gonna be like no not that in the other in oh do you really mean it you said the in right that's the inn. Oh, wait, no. He also said tavern. Where's the other tavern? That one. I remember where the other tavern is. Oh, is it right over there? I could have sworn he said in after tavern. Could be wrong though. I needed to save anyways. We're coming through. What is this place? Just a place that Don has for drinking with important guests and having secret conversations. Are you telling us just to stay here and drink? If your friend comes back with the real letter, things could be settled peacefully. Sorry, but I can't let Flynn hog all the glory. We need to find the criminal behind all of this trouble. If that happens to be Barbos... Easy now. Haste makes waste. What's this? There are sewer tunnels that sprawl in a labyrinth beneath this town. Long ago, when the town was occupied by the Empire, the guilds used these tunnels to fight back. Wait! Don't tell me this place is connected to those sewer tunnels! That's exactly what it is. And our plan is to use them to sneak right up behind those guys. Quickly sneak in and catch them, huh? It's a bit of a detour, but it's the best chance we got. That's the idea. Aren't you glad you trusted me? I won't know that until it's all over. So, you still don't trust me, huh? Naturally, you'll be coming with us too, right, old man? Aw, oh, crap! And I was totally planning on skipping town. I'm saying we want to share the glory with you, old man. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Raven. Oh... It's pitch black. I'd rather not get lost in here and never see the light of day again. Yo, genius mage girl, can you use some fire magic and light up this place? Are you trying to use me as your personal lamp? I've got some nerve, old man. Rita, isn't there something you can do? Hmm, nope. Fire magic is only used for combat. For us to have continuous illumination, air would need to be constantly supplied. Like Lux Blastia. Huh. Really? You weren't counting on that, were you, old man? <coughs> hmm. Is this a Blastia? It's seriously damaged, but I think we can use it. Thing. Whoa! Isn't that thing gonna explode? Are we okay? Of course it's not gonna explode. This is a type of Lux Blastia. It uses that device to charge air and light up. I knew you could do it, Rita. But it's on its last leg, so I don't think it'll last too long. Let's get moving while we've still got light. Okay. 
of air to continue. What's up, Pupper? You need something? It's dark, so you'll get lost if you stray too far. Thanks for worrying about me, Lass, but I'll be fine. It's so dank in here. I hope we don't have to stay too long. It may be dank, but at least the bustle is gone. I prefer the quiet of these tunnels. Uh, right. I'll never be able to keep up with your sensitivities. <laughs> oh, repeat. Do you know where Raven went? Hey, Poochie. Where'd you... Ugh. Ow! Ah. There goes the quiet you were talking about. Yes, well, I've become accustomed to it. Stop jabbering about customs and help an old man out. Can't replenish the air. Money, money, money. Monsters! Um, they won't attack us, will they? We shouldn't have anything to worry about. <sighs> the light. We need to charge up some air before it goes out. What the? We literally just got the thing. And I just charged it. Final Murfish. Oh, interesting. Holy power, come to me. First aid. Holy power, come to me. First aid. Oh, I feel so pain. That was scary. I never expected monsters to wait for us to drop our guard before an attack. There's no way any monster is that smart. Perhaps they're weak against light or something? There are monsters like that? There are indeed. Creatures that live in dark places such as caverns in the ocean floor sometimes have an aversion for light and work hard to avoid it. Oh, right. So that's why they didn't attack when it was bright. Oh, there's another one of those machines. That looks broken. Oh, how interesting. So we just need to be careful to recharge the lamp before it runs out of juice. <laughs> e. I can already tell this is going to be an obnoxious dungeon. Recharge this thing all the time. You know what? I actually want to. Oh. Like, I actually want to fight that bat. But, uh. That wasn't working out for me. What the crap? How am I getting surprised? We'll destroy them in no time. Get out of here. Yes. here comes a new spell. Ready? Here comes a new spell. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Learn all those new spells. Uh, 
I'm not I'm not even sure if that battle guard was uh, an upgrade, but take it. Hmm, there's something carved here. Words? What is this? Long ago, our ancestors abandoned their nations for forgetting their duty to protect their people, and thus became the true defenders of freedom. That is how the guilds first began. But now, the iron shackles of oppression threaten to strangle us once again. It is because we have forgotten the oath of our ancestors, and spent our time fighting one another for our own self-interests. Therefore, we must once again return to the basic principles behind the guilds and join our strengths together as one. We offer our swords for freedom, our shields for friendship, and our lives for the common good. Here we renew our ancient oath. Hey, isn't that the Union Oath? What is that? It's like a slogan that the Dawn came up with when he formed the Union. We can't depend on the Empire, so we have to protect each other. In order to do that, we need to join forces and put our lives on the line for one another. But what's the Oath doing in a place like this? The Union is based on the guilds that resisted when this town was occupied by the Empire. Before that, guilds just did whatever they wanted and only joined together when there was a problem. Once things were resolved, they split up again. But with the Empire's occupation, they changed that. So the guy who led those guild forces was Don Whitehorse? Yep. These sewer tunnels must have really come in handy back then. So that's when they made the oath here? Seems that way. I'd heard there was an actual written oath, but I had no idea it'd be etched in a wall like this. There's something beautiful about how the oath is written on a wall. It says, I freed right here. Oh yeah, that infamous King of the Pirates. The way Don tells it, he was supposedly a sworn ally, but he was such a shrewd and cunning individual that even the Don had difficulty dealing with him. The Don's a pretty impressive guy to be able to call someone like that a sworn ally. Our lives for the common good, huh? I'm glad I got to see something so fascinating, but we take care of Barbos now. Let's go. Our swords for freedom, huh? The Union Oath, right? Fighting for personal freedom instead of draconian imperial law sounds good to me. If you feel that way, maybe the guilds are right for you, Yuri. Huh? Yeah, I wasn't cut out to be a knight. <coughs> huh? You agree, Rapide? <coughs> the guilds, huh? The guilds. No. We're not at full. Hopefully there's not a boss right here. Looks like we're going to be fighting some dudes. He got me. From behind? Oh man, I'm not used to this team. I'm not used to this team. I mean, you're not used to Raven. Yeah, I ain't afraid of no ghost.
Waterproof cloth. Huh. Looks like I went the right way on accident. Okay, you know what? Right before this big showdown with presumably Barbos, I'm gonna call it for the day. About six o'clock, got a six hour stream during this session. Early this morning, I did a four-hour stream, so ten hours today. Did more than uh, than I was expecting. Uh, pretty nice. Um, uh, I need to um, stuff. Um, what did I want to say? <laughs> uh, I'll I'll just say I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'll probably do something very similar to today. Um, stream in the morning, and then lunch, and then stream afterwards, um, and all other good stuff. Uh, Tales of Vesperia is, uh, everything I wanted it to be and more. It's a lot of fun, and I like it a lot, and, um, hopefully I can keep up this, uh, this, uh, heavy hour schedule for this game so that I can beat it before Kingdom Hearts 3. Um... In the meantime, I'm just going to wait for this uh, this VOD to unmute so that I can get part four rendered out so that I could start cutting up all the other ones and get all that stuff ready. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow, probably in the morning time. Uh, I, I don't really have a time. It's just whenever I feel like it. So um, today was like a 630 stream. So maybe sometime around then um, or maybe nine or ten. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It is random. It's random. Uh, but thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Peace.